Governor Glenn Youngkin is taking steps to alleviate homelessness in the Commonwealth. 10 News reporter Abby Coleman is working for you to find out how one local organization plans to use their part of $12 million in funding to work with families experiencing homelessness. Homelessness continues to be a growing issue all across the Commonwealth. That's why Governor Glenn Youngkin announced efforts to fund programs helping the homeless population. Sarah Quarantato is the director of Miriam's House, a Lynchburg-based organization getting money from the Virginia Trust Fund Homeless Reduction Grants. It's really encouraging, um, and obviously it's great to be in a state that values um, people and knows that everyone falls on hard times, and we want to make sure that we can help them when they do. Out of the $12 million in grants, Miriam's House is receiving more than $271,000 for two different projects. Quarantado says the majority of the funds is helping families and youth ages 18 to 24. We work with private landlords to find affordable housing, and then we pay security deposit, first month's rent, um, utility deposit with those funds, and then we also assign each household a case manager to provide supportive services. The rest of the funding is going to supportive housing for people experiencing long-term homelessness. Quarantado says there are nearly 600 people experiencing homelessness in the region and expect more in the coming months. So more and more families are going to need help in the coming sort of months, and it's so reassuring to know that we have that help available, that we can step in, that children do not have to sleep outside or in a shelter or in their car, that they and their families can move into the safety of a home. They say they'll use the money to continue to meet the need. I want to live in a community where, um, where no family has to experience homelessness, and when they do, there are resources to help them quickly get back into housing. Abby Coleman, 10 News, working for you.